Do you love breakdowns? Do you need stats? Do you crave insight? Download the All-Star app, UFC, Bellator, PFL1 Championship, and more. Ad-free, fully customizable. Download the best app in the business. Link in descriptions. Man, this is the banger right here, right? Co-main event, lightweight contender bout, Justin Gaethje versus Rafael Fiziev. Gaethje, 34 years old, 5'11", orthodox fighter, 23-4 and four record, 6-4 and four in the UFC, wins over Michael Chandler, Tony Ferguson, and Edson Barboza. 87% finishing rate, 19 knockouts, 1 submission, 9 months between fights for him. He is the underdog in this matchup. Fiziev, 30 years old, 5'8", switch stance fighter, 12-1 and one record, 6-1 and one in the UFC, sitting on 6 straight wins, wins over... RDA, Brad Riddell, and Renato Morcano, 75% finishing rate, eight KOs, one sub, eight months between fights for him. Narco Cop, man, this is a uh, man, this is an interesting one right here, boy. Yeah, it's a banger, man. Um, what a great co-main event. I mean, has Gagey been in any fights that haven't been great? <laughs> I don't, I don't know of any. I think the, the Chandler one is probably one of the best fights I've watched. I love. I love rewatching that one. It was amazing. Um, even the Oliveira fight for as long as it lasted. I mean, what an insane back and forth in that fight uh, against Charles. Um, but yeah, in this fight, man, Gagey's butt just been in so many wars. And I hate seeing that with fighters. Um, it catches up with you. And I think it's catching up with Gagey. You know, the guys had historically a, a, a crazy good chin. Um, but we see it kind of withering a little, you know, he's getting hurt a lot in the Chandler fight. And again, Chandler hurts very hard, but then he gets dropped in the Oliveira fight before he gets choked out. Um, you know, he gets ground, you know, the ground, the, first of all, it was ground and pound. Then he gets a that triangle choke eventually, uh, by Nurmak Madoff. But yeah, this guy's just, you know, been in way too many wars throughout his career. And I'm not just talking about recently. Recently, it's just been, you know, where he's getting hurt a lot more and dropped. Now he's facing a guy in, in Fiziev who I had one question on this guy. My question was, what does this guy's cardio look like in a, in a high paced, you know, long fight? And I think that was answered in, in Dos Anjos fight, right? His cardio looked really good and eventually found a finish against a guy that's very, very, very hard to finish in Dos Anjos. Now he has a guy in front of him. It's a three-round fight. He's got a guy that's just going to stand right there in front of him the way he wants it, right? And he's and he's probably going to swing for the fences like he normally does. The one thing that I will say is Gagey has a very good weapon in his calf kicks, and they're very nasty. But Fiziev is a Muay Thai fighter. Fiziev knows how to check those things. And if he checks one or two of them, Gagey's going to be done with kicking his calf, you know. And the one advantage that Gagey does have here is exactly that, the calf kick. But I don't think it's going to work here against Fiziev. Um, Fiziev defensively is way better. Um, overall striking, he's way better. I mean, when you look at the hands and the feet, it's just not close. So, um, experience Gagey, but outside of that, like, I don't see any advantages for Gagey. And if people are saying, and I've been hearing a lot of, oh, Gagey might put on a singlet. Have you guys watched Fiziev's takedown defense? I mean, the guy has a pristine takedown. He does everything right when it comes to takedown defense. So it's not working here. Um, I really like Fiziev in this spot. I think it's going to be a knockout. Um, it could happen in any round, but let's go with knockout round two. J Spec. This is a banger, and I think it's a perfect time to remind everybody a new feature on the All Star app the head to head challenges. And I welcome respectfully any challenges. I'll take everyone on respectfully because, you know, I'm pretty beatable, right? Anyways, so we're going to go to the, uh, the fans, and we got a couple of uh, comments here. Jiu -jitsu, uh, Jitsu fan art saying, I see Fiziev being very patient, checking all Gagey's low kicks. Fiziev will come out, uh, excuse me, Fiziev will be more accurate with his striking, winning by TKO. Leon on the other side says, Gagey, that in your face 
phone booth style and the poll, the tightest, I mean, besides the one we had 50-50, the second closest poll we have, 52% squeaking ahead. Fiziev getting the go-ahead by the fans. Man, um, can I say the only complaint I have about this fight is that it's not a five-rounder? And uh, that's basically it, man. I'm going to be looking forward to it. It's going to be really exciting. I just have to agree with a lot of the things that Narco is saying. Like, Gage's got a great chin, but you don't want that to even be a factor. And it's going to have to be because Fiziev is going to find it. Um, with that being said, I'll keep it short. Fiziev for the dub here. Activate Ace has been seeing Gaethje wrestling with his wrestling coach on Embedded a, a whole lot recently. Maybe a sign. Dirty Reg. I'm a Fizz guy and not much of a Justin guy, so no cap in needed for me here. And uh, MMA Jesus 420, Justin via leg kicks. Um, you know the, the question mark about the cardio. The reason why his cardio was better is because before the RDA fight, he had acquired a new conditioning coach right and this conditioning coach is somebody i know personally someone i actually trained with and i've seen rda or uh physio training with him if in person and now he's continued that into this fight and he's probably going to continue that for the rest of his career because he's seen the benefits of that and he's actually in his corner in in uh in london right now and you know who else he wrestles with he wrestles with frank hitman who also is in his corner this weekend and i know him personally as well and i've known a lot of stuff off his i've seen him train over the years even before he was in the ufc and he's always had good wrestling but he's only known for his striking right and and maybe if if gaethje goes out there and wrestles We'll see something. Who knows? But I don't think we will. I think they're going to stand and bang. And uh, Fiziev, he has a chin. Fiziev, he has all the weapons. And I think he goes out there and he has the performance of his life. I think this is the one where he does the breakout performance where he just – I know he's had some incredible performances, but this is the one. Let's go Fiziev by knockout first round. I don't think he plays around. I think he goes out there and, and works uh, Gaethje in this fight, even though I love Gaethje as well. 